Okay, hello there guys, welcome back to another LibGDX video tutorial It has been a few days, but I've been a little bit busy Anyway, so uh, in the last uh, set of videos we managed to add uh, some sound effects to the game, right? And uh, we also managed to improve the menus, right? S uh, and uh, navigation between the screens, okay? So, um, all seems to be okay, all also seems to be fine, uh, however, um, uh, there is one issue right now with this game, uh, before we start developing things, so let me show you, so here I'm gonna collide with this one, and uh, if you look carefully, we lost our spaceship before there was an intersection or an overlap between the enemy and our own spaceship okay so let me um, let me try to clarify this problem a little bit more so uh, I will go to the sprites here and our sprites colliding and here I will go with this one I'll put a breakpoint in here and I will start the project in debug mode. Give it a second now. Okay. So I'll start the game and now check this out. <coughs> so here we'll collide with okay. So as you can see we 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 hit a breakpoint that these two are colliding actually the squares covering these two are colliding however uh, the pixels of these two spaceships are not colliding at all so how we are gonna do that we need to find a way that could work with any shape uh, for example with the shape of a bullet uh, with the shape of the enemy and so on uh, we don't want a specific method for collision detection that depends on shape or something uh, or for example on triangles or rectangles or something like that because if you change the shape of the enemy you will have to change the way the collision model works and you don't want to do that again and again and again so right now in terms of squares and intersection between these all is working perfectly fine that's fine however we need to take this to the next level where we check on pixel by pixel basis does that make sense to you i hope it does anyway so let us see how we can do something like that now in order to explain the idea we are we are going to change this <coughs> and make it work in two stages the first stage we will use the square uh, intersection the reason for that or the logic for that is because this method is a quick and gives you very fast result and does not require lots of CPU processing now if we get um, an intersection based on squares in that case we move to the next check which is check if the pixels themselves are overlapping okay and that one will be a little bit uh, compute intensive if that makes sense to you guys so here I will just you know make this one here instead of returning a true perform a pixel by pixel checking for collision detection okay so we will have to work on this now okay now how we are going to do that well we have a number of problems here as well uh, we have rotation right so maybe the spaceship is rotated uh, okay or maybe it's being scared or something like that and that in, in turn would cause a problem because uh, we only have the shape of the spaceship 
in its original form, not rotated. So what that means that when there is a collision in terms of squares, we have to create a buffer aside. We place each sprite in that buffer, uh, taking into consideration its rotation and things like that. And later on, we will check if the values of a buffer overlap. Okay, so it is a little bit of work, but uh, hopefully um, it won't be too difficult for us to do. Okay, maybe we fail to finish this today, but it will take some time, but uh, it is very important. So now let's go back to our game. So I want to show you something here. Now, in the part where we render the game itself, okay where are we rendering okay so not the create okay maybe uh, let's take a title screen for example so what are we doing we are drawing into the virtual display here and later on we are redrawing the virtual region okay into the final display port okay if that makes sense now we are going to do something similar. We will create something like virtual display, but this one is being used specifically for collision detection only. Okay, so we are going to define one here. Okay, so in our case, where should I define it? So let's, let me define a public variable virtual 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 where is that virtual display there you go okay so I am going to define something like this <coughs> and instead of virtual display I will call this collision collision display okay so instead the word virtual here collision display and this is gonna be collision width and collision height okay so the idea here is that we have an area for drawing collisions now the area doesn't have to be too big like the one we have let's say it could be for example 200 by 200 pixels okay right now our biggest uh, spaceship is three blocks each uh, by three each consisting of 16 pixels so uh, this means we have three blocks multiplied by 16 we have 48 which is the maximum so 200 would be very good and we could actually increase that if we need to does that make sense so we will also draw collision collision region okay so we have these guys now we need to initialize this once okay so let us go to the create method um, this is the create method right so we open the create method and where is the virtual display there you go so we have it here so I'm going to copy this and put it somewhere maybe mm, here okay does that make sense so if this is gonna be collision display there you go equals new frame buffer this is the value now instead of virtual width is going to be collision width on the full and this is going to be collision height okay so this is the first one uh, the next thing we have collision uh, region right collision region equals a new texture region this is going to be collision display okay and finally checking the flipping options etc collision region oops uh, maybe just copy and paste okay 
So we initialize the collision. Initialize the collision buffers. Very straightforward and easy to use technique. Okay, I hope this this works well. I hope. Anyway, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> so the first thing we want to do is um, something simple. Uh, in order to help us understand if our, what we are doing is accurate or not, we will plot the collision region on screen and see how it looks like. Okay, so let's go to the game screen and go down, down, down. Where are we drawing? Yeah, so here we are. We are drawing here. If you have a look here, we are drawing what? We are drawing the virtual region and on top of that, okay, just for test. This is for test. Just draw the collision region. So batch dot draw collision region at location zero 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 and this is going to be um collision width collision height okay and this is going to be one one and rotation zero very straightforward oops this is spelling collision height there you go and what's that yeah uh there's a bracket here right i have this one here anyway um yeah so we will have to remove this one later on but now if we draw this we should have some kind of a rubbish or black square of size 200 by 200 when we run the game so let's have a look and see what we get we start the game and it seems i don't get anything very interesting anyway so okay so let us uh, do some work here now uh collision region okay collision display so let's go to the part where we check the col for collision so the first thing here clear the collision area does that make sense so i will say uh, game one dot uh, collision oh i didn't make it uh, static and public what my mistake my mistake let me go to the very beginning where we define the variables where is that okay so this is going to be public static public static there you go because i want uh, this to be accessed by all the other classes i don't want to create multiple buffers buffer objects just one and we use it everywhere so let's go back to the sprite so here this is going to be collision display dot begin which means we are starting to render things here now g0 in game dot clear uh, sorry collision display dot clear right uh, wait a second uh, how did I do that wow forgetting things all the time my mistake very sorry about that anyway uh, let me search for the word clear okay virtual display oh it's not in the virtual display i just need to call this one clear color gl uh, clear so gdx gl clear yeah so gdx dot gl dot gl clear okay and zero i suppose right let me go back to this oh it's a clear color you know what 
just copy these two lines okay and where is that so we cleared this one and I will say g01 game dot collision display dot end so instead of using uh, I will set the value of blue to one and we should see a blue square if there is a collision a square collision somewhere <coughs> so we start the game wait for it okay and this is a total success so this is a square of size what this is a square of size 200 by 200 so when there was a collision we drew this one okay and we can see this now because it was called and for debugging purposes we are rendering this here now instead of using this color okay I will use the color black okay and this should be so far all good now we are going to render the enemy units okay or the two sprites here okay so now we will render the first sprite but we don't want to, want to render the first sprite at its absolute x and y but rather in the center of collision area okay render okay so in order to do that let's go to the render method uh, where is that so let me go back to this one not update we have render sprite okay yeah uh, okay actually I went ahead and added this one first all about that but anyway uh, it's this one because I, tr I tried this and uh, I stopped the tutorial later on because I had some work to do so now I'm repeating everything anyway so here we have render sprite okay so I will send the X and Y where I want this to be rendered on the surface regardless of the current value of X and Y that makes sense so let us go to our spaceship where is player 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 um, but, um, but, um, but. player spaceship this is the player spaceship we have render okay okay so this is the other render I created yeah so here I pass the X and Y okay the X and Y I am overriding the uh, method in the basic class and adding our, our own so we have we are passing X and Y so we will render this but at the location uh, you know at uh, we try to render this at the center you know of X and Y does that make sense and the same idea goes for uh, where is that the three-headed spaceship okay so we have this one we will be rendering at this location but with an added thing that is the rotation angle very straightforward thing to do okay so right now I won't render both of them I will just render one and see the results okay maybe I need to do the same thing for the bullet or right uh, so we have what we ha uh, or the shot we have render okay let's go to the player where is the player the player player spaceship so render sprite I'll copy this copy where is that where is the shot I'll do the same thing in here okay so instead of this I'm gonna call the shot texture okay that's wonderful 
Now let's go to our basic class and let's go to the part where we are checking the collision and now update things a little bit. So I'll just say G0 in game. Oh, sorry, I will uh, just say um, G0 in game dot collision collision display dot uh, render. Oh wait, so what was that? Uh, what was it? Gosh, totally forgetting the code. I'm very sorry. Um, oh, uh, I don't need to do anything. I just call the method. Sorry, sorry, forgetting things all the time. So we are getting two sprites, right? The first one is A and the second one is B. So I'll uh, call A dot render a render sprite and I will use the second one. So the sprite badge, I need to create a sprite badge. Does that make sense? So here I will make this one here, sprite badge. PMPSB equals a new sprite batch. Okay, and then TMPSB dot begin. There you go. And I will just say TMPSB dot end. Okay, so here I will just pass TMPSB at location. Now I want to draw this at the center of the buffer. So th this will be G0 on game dot collision, collision width divided by two, followed by G G0 on game dot collision height uh, uh, divided by two. So in theory, what this should do is draw our bullet, spaceship, or enemy at the very center of the buffer. So let's run this. And hopefully we'll get that result. <clears throat> so we are checking this and... Okay. So it worked, mm, but this is way much smaller than ex expected. Uh, mm. That's weird. Anyway, uh, let's go to the way we are under this on the screen. Uh, maybe I, I did something wrong in there. But anyway, it is working because you, you saw that, that, right? So here, on it, instead of this... Um, I wonder if we could just say close this and semicolon. Hopefully this will draw things, yeah. Oops, not 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 this, not this, not this. Sorry. Collision width followed by collision height. Okay, and put a semicolon there and let us run this. Okay, so let's see our friend. Okay, it didn't work, but anyway, it is doing that. That's fine. So let me try something else. We start this. Let's see, we should see the bullet. Okay, so now we have a bullet, as you can see. So far, so good. Now, uh, and I'm not sure why this one is not, uh, you know, drawing things uh, at the regular scale. Should I draw it on the main screen? That is weird. Uh, you know what? You know what? I will just move this from here and put it in here. 
Okay. Doubt me for now, please. Okay. Well, we are getting the same result, obviously. But anyway, so far this is uh, okay. This is fine. Now let us see if we could um, we draw the second one. Okay. Uh, hmm. Yeah. So now, in order to draw the second one, we could either uh, we we could either draw on the same surface or draw on a different one. Now, I wonder if we should draw them both on the same surface. Uh, I could create for each sprite a different surface, and then we check each pixel on the two buffers and see when there is an intersection uh, I think I'll go with that because th that will be much easier I suppose yeah I think that will be much easier um, yeah so let's go to the very top okay so this is gonna be collision display one there you go this is collision display with one and region one that is fine control c control v this is the second one display two with two with two with two that is okay now we go to this part and make sure that this is one this is one this is one and also go here this is one one and one and we will repeat this as well but this time this is two and two and two and this is gonna be two and two and two yeah I suppose that will be it um, hmm. so now we created these two guys let me go to the other part um, down here okay so this is gonna be one 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 okay so for why I will use location uh, 500 for example but I'll draw both buffers in here so this is region 2 and this is 2 this is 2 okay so here uh, I already know it's 100 pixels so I will just add 100 here okay uh, no it's 200 I'm very sorry 200 okay so let's go to the part where we draw the collision so collision 2 there you go and we do this thing here and we begin this sprite batch this is 2 and 2 and two okay so we finished these guys under the sprite okay so this is the first one ah, it's very straightforward so I'm gonna remove that okay so this is oops this is number one yeah why did I do it all twos maybe yeah my mistake so this is one and one and this is gonna be one so one 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 okay so we will repeat the same thing with the second sprite so this is gonna be two okay does that make sense and this time I don't need to redefine this object now this is gonna be B at this point this is gonna be the width and there's gonna be two as well and there's gonna be two so two 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 all good so now if we run this we should see both right if there's a collision between our spaceship and the enemy so let me uh, close the this extra window okay 
so let's have a look so we got two okay so you can see now we have this one and we have this one these two guys well there is actually a collision happening and all looks fine all looks brilliant awesome so now it's working and now we can access the buffer pixel by pixel and when there is let's say a co uh, an intersection between these two you know what we could uh, yeah we could detect that but there's just there's a problem here the way I drew that at look at this location this is wrong and the reason for that there is a difference there is a delta x and delta y between sprite a and b and here i am drawing both of them at the center of the buffer okay so i need to create float dx equal a dot x minus b dot x okay and float dy equal a dot y minus b dot y okay so we have these guys and now what we need to do is just say this one plus dx right this is going to be plus dy i suppose this is how it should be let's have a look if it is not plus it should be minus it's uh, one, of, one of the two so uh start the game <laughs> didn't touch that very sorry anyway. okay okay um let me try this out but the red spaceship should be above me when i touch it this time so okay so instead of a plus it should be minus because this one should be higher than this one okay so yeah minus and this should be minus i suppose let's have a look again okay let's have a look looking forward to that and okay now this seems to be accurate not entirely let's have a look again but this time we will touch on the side yeah i don't have something to distinguish yet so they are at the same level so let us try something else let's see if there is a rotation somewhere okay so i i won't touch this one i think the last wave was a number of spaceship that rotate with an on and uh, by an angle or something like that so we will go with that okay oops ah sorry i touched the last one my mistake very sorry about that um as for the small rendering here that is weird uh did i make scale or something i'll have to check this between these two guys okay that was very close Let's go. Yeah. One other thing I have to do is to pre is preventing the player from going out of the screen. So I will try to see if this one appears rotated, and it appears rotated as you can see here. It's very small, but it is working. So one last thing here. So the rotation is working fine on the buffer. It's working there, but for some reason the objects are very small. This is very weird. I'll have to check this for a second here so let me go to um, collision display and let's go to the game itself and see what am I doing differently right so we have this one we have this one we are rendering this and that 
And we have these. It's all. Yeah. Doesn't seem that I'm doing anything different. It all looks uh, normal and the same. This is so weird. I don't get it. Yeah, uh, certainly I'm missing something here. Um, that is a scale X and scale Y there. I could use that, but I kind of don't want to. Right? So here we have these guys. Let me see the spaceship, uh, the player spaceship when I'm drawing this. Texture X minus, this is the value of our spaceship and we are drawing this and uh, there seems to be no problem at all. This is weird. Very weird. Okay. This is very weird. Okay, let me try to do something a little bit differently. So let me go to Sprite. So instead of initializing these buffers, okay, um, I will just yeah, but if I draw on the main screen, everything will go away. That is weird. That is weird. I'm doing something wrong, certainly, but I'm not sure what that is. Anyway. Hmm. Let me do this. So instead of rendering at these locations, okay, I'll draw at location uh, 200, 200, okay, so the first object will should appear at the far location, uh, if that makes sense, uh, top right corner, and not the center of the square, so let me see. That is weird. Anyways, anyways, uh, regardless of that, okay. I will leave this as it is for now. But we almost finished our work. So the thing remaining now is to access the buffers and check if there is a pixel on both, uh, you know, uh, at, at the same location. Does that make sense? So now I'm gonna do this. I need to get the buffer. So for int i equals zero, i smaller than, um, this is gonna be g01 dot uh, collision width one. They are supposed to be the same size in order to avoid the problems. And uh, i plus plus, and for int j equals zero and j is smaller than g01 game dot collision height and j plus a plus now i need to access the buffer the first buffer so now g01 game dot uh, collision we have what frame buff oh, sorry dot get pixel uh, wait a second get buffer texture uh, we found it to attend the first texture chat we present in the FBO get get texture attachment get width I think we could get the texture dot Get texture data, I suppose. Load to string find. Get filter. Set filter. I'm sure we could get data from that somehow. I'm very sure. Uh, get texture data dot. 
get okay um, I will need to access them for uh, the internet for this so give me a second okay how to get frame buffer pixels uh, libgdx example Pix maps. Okay, so there's something called pix maps. I suppose this is what I need to do. Okay, so pix map. A drawing. Set color, set to blending, wait a second. Pix map, I need to get a pix map. Pix map, a new pix map, full circle, no texture, pix map, you can have new. Okay, so I suppose I could get a pix map from the texture self. Get pix map. map creation set color get color pix map okay drawing no maybe this not this one libgdx frame buffer okay this is this code itself I don't need that but anyway texture data Yeah, uh, frame buffer size, frame buffer accessing pixels on frame buffer. How to get your pixel values from frame buffer libgdx? Libgdx, okay, forgot to add that. Frame buffer screen utils open gr and pixel value from frame buffer object. Okay. Tasks that I have found that provide access to default open gr frame buffer. This method used to get the entire screen content or portion of thereof. So here, get frame buffer pixel. Interesting. So get frame buffer. Pixels, get a frame buffer pixels. Okay, there you go. Mm -hmm. Get frame buffer pix map. So, util. So, screen utils. Let's see. There should be something. Screen utils. Get frame buffer fix map okay zero zero and the width need to be what uh, the width need to be collision width this is the first one and uh, there's the second one. Okay. PX1. So this is gonna be this guy. Pix map. Pix map. P1 equals this guy. And we need the pix map for the second guy here. There's gonna be two. Gonna be two. Um, I did not specify which one this should be. 
right. Um, my guys, I suppose before I close this, it need to be here. And before I close the second one, it need to be here. Okay, so if P1 get pixel at location I at location J dot so get pixel here, what does it get? Oh wait a second. What does this one return? I wonder. Get pixel. Oh, it returns an integer, right? So this returns an integer uh, at ij. Okay. So here we have int px1 equals this guy, and we also need the px2 and p2 get pixel at this one and this one and now i would have to say now the reason we are getting this as an integer is because each integer represents the four component red green blue and alpha <coughs> right so i might need to uh split these numbers okay so here uh px1 equal px1 and uh, 0x what was what will this be f f f f f f so red green blue semicolon and px2 equals px2 and 0x f f f f f f semicolon okay so now if px1 doesn't equal 0 and px2 doesn't equal 0 I would assume that I need to say return a true okay that should be it and now I wonder if pixmap need to be disposed so pixp1.dispose oh I need to dispose of these p2.dispose so that uh, resources get uh, returned back to the uh, you know uh, to the OS so here we have what sorry uh, p1 dot dispose here and p2 dot dispose and finally we return false false there you go so I'm not sure but I will have to give it a test and see what happens okay so put a breakpoint here and let's debug this for a second Let's hope it works. So we start the game and we hit this one. Okay, so we, we get into this one. So we get the first pixel. Now this one is what it is 255. So this is the first mistake. So it seems that alpha comes at the very beginning. And this one is also 255. So I will have to end that with 0, 0, 0, 0. Yeah, something like that. So let us stop this. Okay, let us stop all, all, all of these guys. Okay. Why so many? Okay, never mind. Uh, so I'll put the breakpoint here in case both of them are having a value so I think this is it but let's have a look so we are going to hit this okay so this is very close right so p1 is what 255 and p2 yeah um, So it seems, wait a second, oh, my mistake, 
I put the zeros at the wrong location. Ah, sorry. Yeah, because these zeros are meaningless, like adding zeros before, you know, number one. It means nothing, so. My mistake. So sorry about that. So now. Look at that. Now, we got feedback when this one hit the spaceship at this location, not on the, you know, at the wrong case. So this is awesome now because as you can see, we have values and I think now it's going to work perfectly well. So let me stop this. Okay. So now let's have a look again. But this time I'll show you what happens when the spaceship interacts with the enemy. Seems that we already solved the issue. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Okay, sorry. Render sprite, I uh, just removed this breakpoint and uh, F9. Oh, sorry. Oh, seems like my mistake. Maybe the collision detection is having, the square collision detection is having an issue, but... Okay, so do you see that? We got a breakpoint when they are actually touching each other, these two points, or one of these two points. So, we managed to solve the pixel by pixel, uh, you know, detection. Now, there is another thing. It seems that our method for detecting uh, collision using squares is having a flaw or something. So I'm going to change this. So instead of using these values, I will check the distance. And if the distance is small enough, I will switch uh, to pixel by pixel value checking. Okay, so here I'm going to say <clears throat> float dx, uh, this is going to be a dot x minus <clears throat> b dot x, uh, b dot x, semicolon. Okay, this is going to be a much easier technique to understand than others. Okay, and we have float dy equal B, uh, sorry, a dot y minus b dot y semicolon. Now perform the check. Uh, I need to get the distance, and the law of the distance is the following: plot distance equals uh, math dot square root of dx squared plus dy squared. Now, what is the distance that I want to check? Uh, basically, I need to cast this to float here. Now, if the distance is if distance is greater than a dot width, let's say plus b uh, over two plus b dot width. Sorry, over two. Okay, so here I'm um, assuming that uh, if the distance is greater than the, the half width of these two, so I assume there's an interaction. Actually, I could make it width, but anyway, this seems to be okay. No semicolon needed here. So let's have a look at the at this case again, but we'll try touching things from the right. It didn't give us a register a touch the last time, so let us have a look. Oh, oh, these are being redefined. Sorry, because they are defined above, and I'm redefining here, so this is why I'm getting an error. <coughs> so let's have a look. Yeah, we click here. Let us have a look. Okay, so now. Okay, maybe a little bit to the right, oops. 
Is it here? Is it here? Is it here? Okay. Maybe. Just a tiny, tiny. Okay, maybe now. Okay, no, it's not working for some reason. Okay, let's see. Ah. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe, maybe I'm doing something wrong. Uh, let me try this again. It is working this way, but uh, do it again. Okay. This is weird. Okay, let's have a look again. Oh, come on. Um, that's a problem. How do I do that? How do I do that? Maybe I should decorate uh, an enemy with its speed. Okay, let me make a special enemy here. Uh, let me cheat a little. So let's go to the assets folder. Um, one of the assets here, let's have a look. Enemy, enemy, enemy. So enemy the speed x the path so the x location this is gonna be at location 0 0.1 at this is gonna be 0 0.1 as well 0 0.1 for example and the speed this is gonna be zero okay and the path this is gonna be 0.1 yeah I, I will set the path to be the same location you know what set the speed to zero so this should solve the issue so let's have a look or maybe not wait a second make it a debug so I start with this okay so now let's have a look okay so this one's very close okay we got destroyed so let us change the location make it instead of uh, 0 0.1 make it 0 0.5 okay and let us run this okay so now let's have a look see when okay maybe reduce this a little bit more I want to see the very very instead of 0 0.05 0 0.04 make it something like that okay stop that come on okay so now let's see okay this is perfect from moving towards the left it's working perfectly now let's change the x to be um, 0.6 so let's have a, a look try to move to the right oh no I don't want it to rotate okay so this is gonna be the path is going to be what 0 0.6 yes okay so let's have a look now okay perfect okay it's working perfectly it's weird okay um let us also add something here should I put a breakpoint? Let me, let me, let me. Should I put a breakpoint somewhere? G zero one. Okay. Um. Maybe I not. I don't need to r render these anymore. Okay. So let's go back to this one. Ouch! I have a serious headache. Anyway. So let's go here. Put a breakpoint, and now. 
debug this again so we should stop as soon as there is a collision and an explosion start the game okay okay seems to be working perfectly fine that is weird that seems to be fine hmm I suppose we finished things okay I thought there was a problem but apparently not maybe I could increase the radius a little bit okay I'll make it dividable by three just in case just in case um, yeah so this is going to be divided by three this is going to be divided by three just in case okay and now I will run this oh sorry I'll debug this actually not run so I'll debug this okay let's go Okay, that was very close but it didn't register ahead so fine by me I suppose okay. Okay. getting sleepy oh the game will continue forever because this one is still here it has a speed of zero my mistake very sorry about that let's go to this stage and return things the way they were okay so let's save this guy okay and uh, yeah let's go and debug again All right, let's close this first let's debug this again okay now let's run this okay now we managed to get rid of the first wave I want to check the case of rotation it it already it is already working but you know just want to make very sure that it is actually working okay so which one should we choose? We choose that one. Let me put my spaceship in the pad. No. Sorry, <laughs> my mistake. Uh, did it hit the enemy? I'm not sure. Okay. Let us debug this again. I wonder what will the rotation do. Maybe there's a problem with the rotation. That could be. Oh, you know what? I could have used the. Mm. Wait a second. There is a faster way to test that. If, if you understand what I mean. Let me redo things here. okay so now I will make this 0.1 okay so now if we debug things we should have a spaceship that is rotating at some angle and I want to check rotation okay because if that's not the case oh that's a problem do you see that that's a problem okay um, let me stop this okay let me debug this again could it be placing things in the wrong order I wonder anyway so here 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 so we should get something here now we're getting something Hmm. 
okay so let me put the spaceship on the other side okay so instead of uh, where is the file instead of putting it here I will make it 0.9 so it will rotate the other way around now let's debug this again okay go 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 oh you can see that's a failure right there hmm. that is a bigger problem so what I want to see now uh, what I want to check is uh, let me return the code here in the, in the main window where's the G01 yeah this file so I, I will undo the deletion okay so I want to see maybe there's a problem with this one okay maybe there is actually a problem maybe they are being rendered so small uh, like I am seeing them which would result in having inefficient uh, uh, collision detection technique or, okay so let's have a look what is going on here okay so this one seems to be working now but anyway let me press F9 okay so it is being rotated but again the main problem with this one it is rendering this so small that is very weird that is very very weird hmm. so I suppose they are actually being rendered this is small Okay, is there a scale thing that I, I am doing and I am unaware of? Um, so there is a bug uh, there after all. So let me see, let me see the game here. There is something in the initialization that I am totally forgetting. So where is the part with the virtual display? So we create bitmap font, that's fine. We create the badge. Sprite sheet, virtual display, okay, texture region, we have that, get color, we have our texture flipping, yeah, and this one and this one, initialize, it all seems to be fine, this is very weird. you know what I'm going to do something stupid I will use the virtual bit and the virtual height here meaning that I'm gonna draw at the same resolution of the virtual width and height and check based on that although this is uh, crazy but let's see if this solves the problem okay let's see if that solves the problem so here where is the virtual width and virtual height right so I'll just say collision height 1 equals virtual height collision height 2 Collision with one with two. This is gonna be with with. So we have double widths here. Okay. So now I am setting this to be the same as the screen, if that makes sense. 
Now let's see how this goes. Now this obviously will be, you know, more time consuming in terms of searching the area. Same problem. Wow. We are still having the same problem. So, we press F9. Wow, what a disappointment. Okay, so let me see what I am rendering in here. Uh, where is the part where I am rendering things in the game? That's here, right? Somewhere here. Not the create. Render game, yeah, game screen, render that, and where is this guy? Here. Shield, okay. So it's this one. So the Y, this is going to be zero. Application zero, zero. Collision region. Yeah. Okay. I will just draw the second one and see where it is getting rendered. Okay. So when I die, I should see only the enemy. Okay, so you can now this one's is appearing accurately. Very interesting. So now I will also put the second one on top of it. So I should see them colliding. I just see one. That's one. That's very strange. Collision region 1 and region 2, they are both the same. How odd. Okay. So let me keep the first one only. Okay, so this is the first one, I suppose. I said those. This is the first one. Okay. Look here. Okay, maybe I'm drawing this at the wrong location. Let's have a look. So let's go to the part with Sprite here and let's go with where is that? Where is that? So I'm drawing this is minus okay but I think maybe this needs to be a plus. Let's have a look. Yeah, the Y, I'm very sure that the Y is accurate, but the X, maybe the X. No, not that. That is totally wrong. Come on. So I'm placing this at the center. Okay, so the first one is being placed at location X node y node or zero zero let's say for example the second one okay if the first one is at location zero zero the second one's location ten ten so delta x is minus ten minus ten so multiplied by minus by minus equal plus that's fine minus minus equal plus yeah so this is accurate actually this is actually accurate but for some reason, I am not sure why it is behaving like that. But anyway, so 
So if the distance is greater than okay, let's make it like that and see how this goes. Okay, so let's stop this for a second. So let's go to the game here. Now, just say patch set uh, blend function set color. Let's see. I will use um, 1f followed by 1f followed by 1f followed by 0.5f so I will make this a little bit you know transparent and later on I will return things to the way they are yeah uh, these need to be zeros all. Okay, so I'll make sure that these have transparency and in order to see what's going on. Okay, let's have a look. Oh no, that didn't work. Okay, that obviously didn't work, I'm very sorry. Um, maybe zero, whatever. Let's have a look. Yeah, maybe I, I did something wrong there. I did not one thing, so many things wrong. Okay, so let's have a look at the part where we are rendering things here so we are clearing this uh, with high value of alpha right should I make this 0.5 let's have a look let's have a look oh sorry stop 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 just cancel this up Let's also make this 0.5f. Okay, so let's have a look. Go. Okay, do you see that? So obviously it, it did interact with it. Okay, so go back start the game again so here 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 go go so now it's already so close right so closer 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 so it is working actually fine oh so it is checking these guys now let's let these guys pass by okay so now if I move a little bit I get killed perfect so now this one is working fine I'm sure of that let's go to the other side let's go and move the uh, the spaceship back to the other side okay and let us on this Okay. Oops. Not only that, but this this x value need to be 0.2. Let's go and run. I start the game now. So here, check this out. Closer. Closer. Closer, 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 destroy. 
so now our collision detection is working very well so where are the enemies I will hit them you see that okay it's working fine so let's now try to optimize things a little bit because as you can see that this is taking so much processing power from the CPU right so I will uh, you know disable this part where we under these okay so now let's run this and the reason it's taking so much processing power is that because at uh, about 60 times it's checking the full screen we don't want this to happen you know so this is a very close object so you can see now this is very slow now already so very slow because so much processing and now faster very slow okay and so on so we don't want this to happen to us okay so in order to solve that uh, you know what let me let me let me let me actually did i change anything here i didn't change anything oh i know how to solve this issue now let me go to game uh where's the part where we do collision detection uh this one so here let's see now instead of checking all of this or check an area of uh let me see um int cx equals this one over two okay cy equal instead of width I will use height over two okay and now this is gonna be cx minus 100 this is gonna be cx plus 100 Okay. this is gonna be CY minus 100 check to CY plus 100 very straightforward and what that means that regardless of the size of a buffer we are only gonna check the center 200 by 200 pixels okay and also since we are doing this uh, let's make the code a little bit more clear by just uh, changing these values where is it where is it where is it yeah so I'll use this copy paste it here paste it here and paste this one here paste this one here that's fine where is our create method create method this is the create method where we are setting things in inside yeah don't need that anymore anyway so now let's run this and see if the game's gonna slow down as before it's gonna be awesome so let's run so check this out now it's supposed to be slowing it's, it is a slowing but not as before it's better but you know it is slowing but not as before so um well in the interest of improving performance more again i will return this to make it instead of you know i will make this divided by three this divided by three or maybe by two and by three that will be very very sufficient okay so this is the first thing uh also the area i am checking instead of being okay int x1 equals cx minus 100 int x2 equal cy cx plus 100 
and y1 equals cy minus 100 and end y2 equals cy plus 100 semicolon so now this is going to be what this equals x1 and this should be smaller than x2 this is going to be y1 this is going to be y2 okay so now there is one important thing here what is the distance needed? I'm checking an area of 100 by 100, but this is already too much. So, what is the width of our spaceship? Okay, so I'm going to use that. So, a dot what? a dot width divided by 2. Okay. Maybe divide by 3. There's going to be a dot width divided by 3. There's going to be a dot height divided by 3. There's going to be a dot height, sorry, divided by 3. So this is going to be checking the absolute minimum required for the, this to happen. And also these values needs to be an integer values. This need to be an integer, sorry. Another integer value. And this is gonna be another integer value. This is gonna be integer. And the reason I'm getting this problem is because I'm casting the value a dot width. This is a float if I'm not mistaken. So this is mistaken, so this is why it's objecting so much on it. So what am I doing here is something simple. I'm just checking yeah, these values. Okay. Now there is another thing that you might be interested in. We could even make this even more efficient by not checking the first object, but rather the one smaller. So if there is one smaller than the other, this will result in better performance. Anyway, let's have a look. Okay, we start the game. Okay, maybe I need to increase. Sorry. Oh, the division is wrong. I'm very sorry. 1.5, 1.5. What, 1.5? My mistake. So sorry about that. And this is this thing to be 1.5. No problem. Okay, 1.5. Okay. Okay. So I suppose now this is gonna work fine. Okay. So let us run this again. Okay, so it, it slowed down a little bit. It slowed down a little bit, but let's have a look now. Yeah, it is slowing down, but you know. I wonder how's the performance right now. You know what? I could solve this by checking actually what are the values. So I'll put a breakpoint here. Let's go back here now. Oh, this, this was running, not debugging, I'm sorry. So let us debug this. Yeah, because I want to evaluate things. Okay. Okay, so we got a breakpoint here. Okay, so now let's have a look. So what's the, the CX here? 640, 384. So we have about 64 in right. Wait a second. This is going to be 72. Subtract. Yeah, this is 64 in width. 
and something similar in height so 64 by 64 pixels we are checking here and this should give very much faster processing yeah so i suppose now this all looks good we managed to solve the collision uh, pixel by pixel level maybe i will shrink the buffers later on i'm not sure um, probably i would do that later but uh, for now that seems to be working well okay so uh, that will be all for today uh, sorry for the longer tutorial but uh, this was a little bit complicated as you might have seen not very complicated but you know it, it was complicated enough and but as a result we now have very accurate collision detection uh, okay for our game and we can now actually shoot enemies and uh, you know make very close maneuvers to them without uh, dying uh, okay <laughs> did you see that is a problem this is embarrassing so there is a bug there still there is a bug okay so there is a bug i'll have to see why that didn't work well how embarrassing <laughs> okay let me see you all last thank you let me go to the game uh sorry let me go to the sprite maybe the problem was with the value i'm using here so a yeah something like that okay let me see what am i checking this is embarrassing <laughs> i thought i solved it and then bam uh where is it where is it where is it? yeah so instead of using this this is going to be minus 32 okay this is going to be plus 32 minus 32 and a plus 32 okay and, and i don't need that one at all okay let's have a look that's uh wow Yeah, let's have a look. Please work and don't embarrass me anymore. <laughs> okay, that worked. Okay, so it it worked, but it was a little bit too close. Anyway, so it was one of these numbers that's causing the problem, I suppose, right? So this is why so it seemed to be working uh, I suppose it was one of these numbers that caused the problem anyway and the area uh, as well so uh, I suppose that will be all let me return this to the way it was this file okay so this file is now returned to the way it was so now we finished I suppose all the necessary things uh, we need and we can from the next tutorial focus on improving the graphics much more and uh, starting to improve the enemies and uh, designing actual waves not like the ones we have here okay that will be all thank you guys for watching and have a nice day bye bye